As the war in Ukraine continues, concerns about attacks on its infrastructure. On Saturday, Ukrainian Air Force officials said 33 missiles were fired at the country, but 18 were shot down. Local authorities claim the strikes were aimed at energy facilities, which has caused power outages, resulting in more than a million people across Ukraine reportedly left without power. In his nightly video address, President Volodymyr Zelensky urged Ukrainians to limit their use of electricity, adding they're working to bring the power back as soon as possible. He also praised the Air Force for defending the country's skies. In the Donetsk region, troops using the cover of trees to avoid possible Russian attacks. Our enemy have many, many um, weapons and uh, artillery. We don't have a lot of artillery. We have, uh, most of the times, we have problems with tanks and artillery. They claim Russian drones are keeping a constant lookout from the skies. Further west in Kherson, residents told by Russian authorities to leave immediately ahead of an expected advance by Ukrainian troops. We held on to the very end, this man says. It is now dangerous and very loud there. A Russian official says an estimated 25,000 residents left. Images from Russian state TV reportedly show people leaving on boats. Meanwhile, the Russian Defense Ministry says its forces repelled a Ukrainian attempt to break through its line of control in the Kherson region. Karina Mitchell, ABC News, New York. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.